If someone from 1983 suddenly woke up in 2023, what would shock them the most about today's world? I loved it. We were right that Reagan set us on the wrong path. How cheap 4 terabytes are. Everyone has a supercomputer for a phone. How good AAA video games look. Space Station Oblivion on the C64 ran at like 1 frame per second. How bad the climate has gotten in so little time. How expensive big movies and video games are to make. I mean the 200 million dollars ones. As someone who was alive then I can tell you a few. Cell phones, internet, flat screen TV, the fact we have no flying cars and haven't ventured into space past low earth orbit. Many people back then would be absolutely flabbergasted that LGBTQ folks are not only accepted but celebrated other than by Republicans. In the UK it'd be a PM of Asian descent, then they'd notice that he's richer and more out of touch with Joe Public than any previous PM and realize that not much had actually changed. Overall though, it'd be the ease and speed of communication in that pretty much all knowledge is at our fingertips. Everyone listing new things that didn't exist back then. But I think they'd be shocked at how little everything else changed. Mostly the same old fights with the same old regimes. No new hard evidence of extraterrestrials. No awe-inspiring advancements in space travel. And finally, no flying cars. I feel like trying to explain the war in Ukraine would probably be a mindfuck. So yeah Ukraine is fighting against Russia with the help of the West and receiving tanks from NATO countries like Poland, Czech Republic and Germany, oh right, Germany made up again and Czechoslovakia split. What would shock me the most? Video games. I was playing Atari in 1983, and if I went from that to experiencing virtual reality or even just the current triple title games it would blow my fucking mind. It's still kind of just thinking about it even though I've been here for all of it. Depending on how well traveled they were back in 1983, I'd say taking them through an airport would shock the hell out of them. That and self-driving cars, self-checkout at Walmart, order kiosks at McDonald's, streaming services, vapes and probably the lack of flying cars lol. The lack of progress in space exploration. That we don't even go to the moon anymore, let alone have a station there. That the space shuttle no longer flies and has not been replaced by anything. The best that we have is celebrities and mega rich paying to go up to orbit. That you can order pretty much anything you need or want from Amazon and get it the same day or next day. So you basically hold a device in your hand, choose what you want to buy and it's left at your door in a few hours. That would have sounded almost sci-fi back then. How many people there are? We grew up on science fiction someone from 1983 would be excited about things like microwaves, mobile phones, computers etc. But the sheer number of people everywhere, the lack of space, would be disconcerting. How expensive everything is. Average for a gallon of gas has tripled. McDonald's Big Mac was $1.45 on average. It's $5.38 now. Dozen eggs was $1.16. It's around $3.95 now. These are all over inflation adjusted numbers. It's staggering. Maybe the number of mass shootings in the United States. I just saw on the news this morning, there have been 359 mass shootings in the United States so far in 2023. And we're only halfway through the year. That's quite unbelievable. The ability to find out the answer to almost any question in mere seconds. The ability to play nearly whatever song, movie, TV show in mere seconds. The ability to find multiple kinds of entertainment in mere seconds. They'd be confused why kids aren't able to walk bike around town to play with other kids in the neighborhood or go to the park store. Even though I understand how things got this way, I still feel sort of confused by it. What would have shocked me most is the on-demand nature of television. I wasn't even born until 1986 and it still amazes me that I can watch whatever I want, whenever I want. And pause TV. And record without VHS. Probably Wikipedia and the World Wide Web. Imagine how fascinating it would be for a person 40 years ago carrying all the information in the world, easily accessible, with them on a computer smaller than a shoe. The fact that we have limitless knowledge at our fingertips and the main things we use it for are looking at pictures of people we don't know starting arguments, and telling our friends our political opinions. If me from 1983 woke up today, very little will shock me, I will be so happy about a lot of stuff becoming a reality. I was 10 years old so things I saw in movies are now real for me, and maybe even better. Fascists running the Republican Party, country going backwards on Roe v. Wade, income inequality, and the other consequences of them electing a B-rate actor famous for a movie with a chimp to the White House. I possess a device in my pocket, 
that is capable of accessing the entirety of information known to man. I use it to look at pictures of cats and get into arguments with strangers, Ian Leslie. I think the malls being dead would be a big shock. I remember that being the town square where everyone would go to hang out be seen, and now there are places you might go for the heck of it. How much Star Wars sucks? They'd be coming hot off the heels of having just watched Return of the Jedi. What a crushing disappointment it would be to immediately be exposed to the sequels. Nazis fucking everywhere just openly displaying World War II German flags, swastika tats, HH salutes all in front of public eyes without anybody beating the fuck out of them. The lack of face-to-face -face communication between people. No one speaking in the phone, no one just popping in unannounced for a visit. No sleepovers for kids. The amount of hate in politics today, also a lot of people are dumb as fuck despite the amount of readily available factual information at one's fingertips. The internet, and how many everyday things you can do with it without ever leaving your desk or sofa. Also, still no flying cars or hover suits. We walk around with tiny supercomputers in our hands with the world knowledge at our fingertips yet people believe the world is flat. The contrasting more violent and more perverted nature much less a near universal use, of pornography should shock every one of us. Everyone shuffling around constantly staring at a small black rectangular object. It would seem like an episode of the Twilight Zone. Empathy died about a decade ago. I'm still not used to it, and I watched it happen. Also vinyl is back, for literally no reason. Living in Germany and reunified, single Germany. No Berlin Wall. Freedom of movement within the European Union. No Soviet Union. You cannot smoke indoors. You cannot smoke while you are driving a car with children in many states, possibly all states. That kids in America are getting shot on mass in schools but Americans refuse to do anything about it because politics. The glaring lack of hovercraft. Back then, we were pretty sure that we'd all be zipping around in hovercraft by now. To get an obvious one out of the way iPhones other tablet devices and the advancement of computers in general. People walking on the streets and looking like they talk loudly to themselves or into some small square devices. How absolutely disgusting we are towards one another now. No civility. No compassion. No tolerance. No hope. 